Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking some beef ribs in a barbacoa sauce. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Now don't forget everything I use in my videos, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products, so make sure you check those out. And there's Weber Enthusiast merchandise down there as well. Right, so in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing some beef ribs in a barbacoa sauce. All right, so for this recipe, you're gonna need a direct and indirect cooking system. Now you can do this on the Weber kettle, you can do it on the Genesis, you can do it on the Q, and today we're gonna to be doing it on the Baby Q. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. All right, so as always, what we're gonna do is gonna jump in and grab our ingredients, but before we do that, the first thing you're gonna need is a disposable tray. Now today, we're gonna to be using just a small rack because there's only me eating it, so we're gonna be in around three ribs. This recipe does up to seven ribs, so you're gonna need a disposable tray and some tin foil to go over the top for the first cooking process. So what we'll do is we'll jump in and start grabbing the ingredients. Now don't forget everything you use today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so I'll quickly go through what ingredients we've got. So first up, we're gonna make our rub and there's only four ingredients for this. So what you're gonna need is some sea salt, some pepper, some garlic powder or garlic granules, and some ground cinnamon. And for our barbacoa sauce, you're gonna need some apple cider vinegar, some tomato sauce, dried oregano, some chili powder, a chopped onion or some onion flakes, some cumin, some brown sugar, and one clove of diced garlic. So what we'll do is get this cue lit and get it warmed up, and we'll start preparing our rub and get our ribs prepared, ready to go on the cue. So what we'll do is jump straight into it. So now we've mixed our rub in that bowl, it's time to get these ribs seasoned and prepare them and get them on the queue. So what we'll do is jump back into it. Right, so our beef ribs are all seasoned. We've got that beef stock in there, and what we've done is we've covered that foil tray with some tin foil, and then we're gonna put that in the queue on medium heat for around an hour, and let those ribs really tenderize. So what we'll do is get these on the queue. Right, so our ribs are on the queue, they're gonna be about an hour, so we've got plenty of time to kill, so what we'll do is we'll jump in and start making our barbecue sauce. What we'll do is dive straight into it.
Right, so the ribs have been on now in total for an hour and 40 minutes. So we'll go out, check, and if the meat has shrunk back from the bones, it's pretty ready and it's tenderized. And then what we'll do is baste it with that sauce and put it back on the grill for some direct cooking. So what we'll do is jump back into it. Right, so those ribs have been resting for five minutes. I've got the serving sauce, I've plated them up, so it's time to give it a bit of a taste test. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now don't forget everything you see in my video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. So make sure you check those out. So as you can see, those ribs turned out perfect. That meat was really succulent. Because you're cooking in that tray with that beef stock for a couple of hours, then what that will do is that will steam that meat and get it to shrink back off the bone. As soon as you notice the meat is shrinking back off the bone, it's ready to take it out. And then what you're gonna do is like I've done in the video, just baste it with the sauce, put it back on three minutes aside, and then it's ready to serve. Now you can do this recipe on the barbecue, you can do it on the Genesis, you can even do it on the Weber kettle. It's a really simple recipe, and as you've seen, it tastes beautiful. Now with my ribs, what I had was I had trimmed ribs and they were 2.1 kilos. The recipe you can do up to 2.5 kilograms. I will put that in the recipe, what it is in pounds. And the same with the temperature into Fahrenheit as well for everyone who's watching in, in the States. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, so now we've mixed our rub in that bowl. What we'll do is get our rubs rid of it. As soon as those meat, that meat sink 